Guys, this is Wally coming at you from Meadville, Pennsylvania. I was on my way to Conneaut Lake Park and I came across the Kmart on Route 6, so I figured I'd stop by. I have known for a while that it was closing, but I didn't know it was closing so soon. They're on their last eight days. So I figured I'd stop by because this will definitely be the last time I'm in the store. It's sad for me. I know people think it's dumb, but for me it's a bit sad because I've been coming here for years. I've been going to Conning Out Lake Park for years, and every time we would stop here to get snacks, you know, sunscreen, whatever we needed, beach supplies for their little beach. So I figured I'd stop here, show you guys around. Uh, the store definitely looks tired and needs to be put out of its misery. I hate to say that. Uh, the thing I feel bad about are the employees who are going to be losing their jobs. I know some of them will still get pay while they look for jobs elsewhere. And from what I understand, Kmart is offering them positions at other stores. However, where is there another Kmart at around here? I think the ones in Erie are both closing too, if they're not already both closed. So... I think one is. I think the other one just got announced yesterday that they're closing. So, anyway, I'll show you guys around. Um, see if there's anything worth buying in there, if there's anything left. And uh, give you one last look at the Meadville Kmart. Okay, so here's the storefront. As you can see, it's definitely tired. Hasn't been updated in, I think, its entire history that I've been coming here. Other than when they put the big on Kmart there when they went to a big Kmart. So, yeah, definitely tired looking. That damage on the front there has been there forever. Never really fixed it, never really updated anything. Classic 1990s parking light. The parking lights here, old. <laughs> All right, we'll go look around in there. Hopefully we don't get yelled at by the security guard at the front door. Wow, there's definitely not much left. Wow. Look at that. Christmas items. 50 bucks. 25 now. Still too much, sorry. Wow. You know, I was just in here a couple of months ago. I bought a, a pair of... Uh, Craftsman work boots. They were originally 60 bucks. I ended up getting them for 750 then and the store was full. Everything was only I think 10 to 30 percent off. It is empty and sad. You are in Meadville, PA, right? I mean, I saw this over here. Well, I can understand that. We're close to the New York border. Okay, hey, that. I thought we had brown stuff here. Chicago Bears. Okay, we're getting colder again. That's actually badass. Too bad that wouldn't fit me. A lot of team sports from, like, other cities countries NASCAR stuff anybody even wears that anymore <sighs> sorry that sport is dying it's dying as bad as Kmart that's all they got left nothing oh yeah some but Mostly women's shoes. I could always use another pair for work if I could get them that cheap again. It's pretty much all women's shoes, though. Yeah, this uh, over here in this area, if I remember right, used to be HBA. And then back there is where shoes was, where it says thank you for shopping Big K. And in the corner was the men's department where the fitting room is. And I believe this was the women's department here. I could be wrong. A 
we'll just take a look around back here. Fixtures, ten dollars. I got some at the Weirt and Kmart when that one closed up back in I think January. See if there's anything worth getting. I don't think I could fit anything else in my car though. <laughs> I got so much crap in there as it is from this kind of stuff. And here's the men's department back here, cleaned out. These are all sold. I don't know why, I don't know why, but I could just see myself and my buddies all getting hammered and trying to hula hoop with these metal rings for clothes. Give me enough uh, beer and whiskey and yeah, I'll definitely be doing it and probably be hurting and regretting it later, but that's fine. Nice office chair here. 35 bucks though. About 25 bucks too much. Hmm. Lay away. This was the electronics department back here. Floor tape. Huh. Nothing really interesting. Sorry if this video is a little shaky here. I don't normally film on my phone. I usually use my camcorder. That's kind of cool. I, I could use that. Hopefully when I stabilize the video in YouTube editor, it'll uh, clean it up. I don't know why, but I want this really bad. Serena would kill me if I brought this home though. Plus, there's no way in hell I could ever fit that in my car. So, lucky me. I get to sleep in a warm bed tonight. <laughs> yeah, this was uh, where the appliances were back here. Automotive was back there. Toys was in this area here, too. I'm surprised that nobody has said anything about me filming in here. Um, so I don't want to make a scene. I don't want to go anywhere where I can definitely get in trouble or yelled at. I'm sure you guys respect that. Auto Center. Here was the lawn and garden section here. I was in here around Easter, right when the summer stuff was coming out. I got a lot of neat little knickknacks and shit for the yard. That was before they even announced the store closures. So everything was still regular price or whatever they were in the weekly ad. Suitcase weight. Hmm. I don't know how much these grills are. 124. Single burner though. Nah. I'm a hungry man. I need more than that. Those tables. Yep, see that? Last eight days. Here's pretty much what all they have left. It's all been pushed to the front of the store. Not a whole lot. Here's where the old K Cafe used to be. For the longest time, this was just filled with like picture frames and like carpets and stuff like that. I think uh, Ace's Adventure, I think they were out here not too long ago. And if you look at his video, I think this was full of whatever they could stuff in here, basically. The dilapidated bathrooms. 1990s water fountains. Love it.
Not bad. And here's the rugs here. The checkout lanes. <laughs> Even with the store closing and there being about four times as many people in here now as there were when the store was doing regular business, they still don't have all the registers open. They just have one. Amazing. This is just sad, man. It's just a shame. Just a couple of months ago, these shelves were completely full. And here they are sitting completely empty. They don't even have any little Debbie snack cakes for me now. Now I'm mad. I'm just kidding. A little bit of toys left. This is really depressing. Like I said, I feel bad for the employees who are going to be losing their jobs. You know. It's hard out there. Seventy percent off a strobe light. Cool. I couldn't resist. I'm getting one. Five ninety nine. Might even be more. Who knows? Again, look at these bare shelves. Just trash laying around. Dirt, garbage. Like I said, when I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, this is definitely a very tired store. Outdated and tired. Definitely has that 1990s feel to it. I think that's part of the problem. I think that's why a lot of people stopped coming here because they just weren't fascinated enough to come here. Plus, instead of lowering prices on things, I, I, I love that the ones in Pittsburgh did this a lot too. They would close the store, rearrange everything and raise the prices and then everybody was already mad because they were closed. But then when they went in there, they had no idea where anything was at because they reorganized the entire store. And that only drove more customers away. These little fountains are cool. Uh, what was that? $14.99? $7.49 now. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, just look at this. If you have a Kmart nearby where you live, walk in there and take a good look around. If it's not closing, it probably will be soon enough. And just think, this is what it'll look like. I really think it's inevitable. I really do think the company is going to go out of business, if not by the end of this year, by the end of next year. And it's it's a shame. Without mentioning a certain store, we all know what Monopoly took over the uh, retail business here. All right, well, did a walk around here. Like I said, there's pretty much not much to see. Again, I cannot believe nobody has said anything about me filming in here. Thank you for shopping, Big K. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I gotta get to Conneaut Lake Park. Ride the blue streak about 30-something times. They have fireworks tonight, too. I'll see if I can get those up. I don't know if I'll be able to. One last look around. Here. This was the side, this was the lawn and garden area here. 
patio section. I just walked all around. I really don't feel like getting back out of the car again. So I'm just going to do this lazy style and drive around. Loading docks, fixtures getting thrown away left and right. I wonder if I could get back here, I don't know. Metal only is what that said. Big hole. Ow. 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 <laughs> yeah, here's the back of the Kmart store. The truck will come back here and then to where that loading dock was, he pull all the way up and then back into the spot. tell they definitely didn't take any care of this back here at all I, I don't even want to guess how deep this water is so yeah that's pretty deep all right not that's on the edge <laughs> surprise there's no fish in there holy shit sorry oh my okay I think we're all right I think we're all right I don't think the card's gonna drown Wow, that was so. Uh, that was rough. All right, here's the other side of the Kmart, guys. Um, definitely hurting. Sorry, that's a dead bug. That one, wow, right off the windshield. I don't know what the plan is with that. What they're doing. That's what this side looks like. Here's uh. Another view here. They got a random garage door here. That's cool. Whatever. Wow. I know it's probably not, but that would be great if that was just duct tape holding that together. It's not though. It's a tarp. That looks like duct tape. Yeah, the front of the store. One last time. guys I'm gonna be doing a giveaway when the channel reaches 100 subscribers I haven't figured out what it'll be yet probably a visa gift card or something um, so I'll be happy to do that once we get to 100 so yeah be sure to check out my other videos I'm gonna be doing a lot more abandoned locations here uh, I wanted to do one this week but it just the rain every day thing was annoying or by the time I got home from work I was just beat so I gotta get to that, I'll probably do that tomorrow. So, like I said, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.